You're listening to Bodhi Light Tales, the podcast for mindful people on the go. Hello, this is Miao Guang. Today's Bodhi Light Tale is Love Yourself. Once upon a time, there lived King Prasenajit of Kosala. Having taken refuge in the Buddha, King Prasenajit often visited him for guidance. The king felt at ease talking to the Buddha, sharing whatever was on his mind and his insights of the Dharma. The Buddha would always encourage his practice and give him further instructions. One day, King Prasenajit came to see the Buddha. After paying his respects, the king sat down and said, Buddha, lately I have been thinking about the meaning of loving yourself, loving who you are. One evening, I was talking with my queen. I asked her if there is anyone that she loves more than herself. At first, I thought she would be afraid to be honest with me. But then she said, My dear king, there is no one that I love more than myself. She then asked me the same question. After much thinking, I agreed with her that I do not love anyone else more than myself. The Buddha replied, Your Majesty, I am pleased to know that you and Queen Malika can be honest with each other. So, have you had any further thoughts since? Yes, Buddha. One day, while I was meditating, questions arose in my mind. What kind of people truly love themselves? And what about those who do not? I concluded that regardless of who a person may be, if they behave badly, speak badly of others, and are possessed of evil intent, such a person does not love who they are. As they have no love for themselves, they do not treat others with love. On the other hand, if a person does good deeds, speaks good words, and has good intentions, such a person truly loves who they are. As they know what it is to love and be loved, They treat others as they would themselves, with love and compassion. Buddha, I hope I'm making sense. Pleased with the king's insights, the Buddha replied, You are most correct, your majesty. It is as you said, if one practices evil in body, speech, and mind, they are not a person who truly loves themselves. But if one practices goodness in body, speech, and mind, then such a person is one who truly loves themselves. One who knows love, to be loved, and loving in kind does not commit evil. If one does evil deeds, happiness and love are difficult to find. Relationships between people are reciprocal and everything is interconnected. When you treat others with kindness, whether with words or deeds, you are sowing good karmic seeds. The way you treat others will certainly influence how they treat you in return. No matter what happens, each person reaps the karma they have sown. All the various karmic causes and effects are created by our words, deeds, and thoughts in our daily lives. Some of us spend our whole lives looking for someone more deserving of our love than ourselves. But the truth is, that person is nowhere to be found. We deserve to love ourselves as we truly are. Be one and at ease with ourselves. Or if we cannot even love ourselves, how can we think to love others or be loved in return? By truly loving yourself, even your mere presence can make others happy. 
Yes, Buddha. Thank you for your teaching. The king replied. This story highlights the meaning of truly loving yourself for who you truly are. This is unlike selfish love, for it comes from knowing your true self and an understanding of the law of cause and effect. All of us seek happiness, but in truly loving ourselves, we do not seek a worldly, fleeting kind of happiness. The happiness that we seek is the happiness that the Buddha attained. This happiness can only be achieved by purifying our minds. In this story, the Buddha repeated, "If one practices goodness in their body, speech, and mind, then such a person is one who truly loves themselves. If we truly love ourselves, we do our best to do no evil in body." Speech and mind, knowing that we are all interconnected, how we view and treat ourselves shall inevitably have an impact on those around me. As one takes good care of themselves in body, speech, and mind, one will seek never to inflict harm on others. One's actions, speech, and thoughts will benefit others. Furthermore, by truly loving ourselves, our words, deeds, and our minds are purified. Only then will our presence bring warmth and happiness to the people around us. Just as Venerable Master Shingun says, love can be selfish, but it can also be selfless. Love can be defiled, but it can also be pure. Love can be narrow, but it can also be broad. Love can be foolish, but it can also be transcendental. This is Miao Guang. Thank you for listening to Bodhi Light Tales. Subscribe to Bodhi Light Tales and For Your Podcast, and have stories delivered to you every week. May your day be filled with happiness and wisdom.